here back with DIY Builds in Texas. Just want to say hi to everybody. Hope everybody's having a great Easter weekend. Happy Easter to everybody out there and happy Easter to all my subscribers out there. I've gotten quite a few new subscribers and I want to say thank you very much to each one of y'all for subscribing to my channel. I think it's awesome. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can to see all these awesome things that I hope I'm building. Anyway. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a Mega Boombox update. Uh, it's not finished yet, but it is getting closer. Did a lot of work on it this weekend, and I'll be happy to show everything that's going on. And also, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the LED switches that I use on the build, because I'll be getting a few questions about those from a few people. So that's what's going on. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a big old tall glass of uh, iced tea or Coke Zero, whatever you like. And... Uh, this is for Trent. I want to say hi to my, my buddy Trent. I've got my Smarties. Right here, Trent. Got to have my Smarties when I'm working on my projects. So anyway, guys, uh, sit back, relax, and uh, I'm going to move the camera so you can see the inside of the boom box here, and I'll give you a tour of what's going on. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we're back, and uh, let me show you the inside of the mega boom box here. As you can see, it's getting really, really busy, and... Um, I had to make a few changes that I hadn't planned on making. Let me show you. Uh, right over here, you can see the uh, amplifier. And you see I took the fan off the amplifier and I put a large uh, fan right here to blow on the amplifier there because the fan was getting a lot of noise. And let me show you what we got going on down here. You can see I actually had to build a bracket there to hold the fan going to the amplifier. As you can see right here on top, I have all the wires that are going to everything. Here's the RCA jacks and the antenna wire. Got the antenna plugged in. Of course, there's the batteries, and I've got the batteries hooked up. There's the relay right there. There's my boss noise suppressor. I'm going to put that in there to try to help with the noise coming from the amplifier. And um, my glasses on here, I can see a little better. And of course, there's the other battery. There's the power supply. And I tried to clean up the wires here. Going to the connectors. And of course, there's the voltage booster. And everything else. And the wires getting ready to go up there. And let me tell you, these guys, these little wire clamps are absolutely fantastic. As you can see, they do a great job holding the wires. And I'm going to try to get y'all a link to those. I got these at Fry's Electronics, but I'm sure they sell them online. But you can see they work absolutely perfect. You can see how I've got the uh, voltage booster. I actually put some bolts right here through the heat sink to get it up off the ground there. And I think it's looking really, really good. Again, there's power supply. You see the batteries. I've already got the batteries hooked up and hooked up to where they go out. And, of course, the fan has these LED lights on it that lights up. And there's the speaker wires going out to the speakers. And I've also got them run along here as well. So the Mega Boom Box is coming along. I've still got to wire up the switches, as you can see right there. And I need to make some more connections down here. You can see the relay sitting right there. It's all wired up. So we're getting close. I'm done with it for this weekend, but I'm going to work on it some more. Uh, I should be off work on Friday, and I hope to have it done by fr next Friday for sure. So be on the look on for that. But like I said, these little these cable clips are absolutely fantastic. I got 50 of them for six bucks, and I really really like them a lot. So that's an update on the Mega Boombox, y'all. Let me put the camera back here on the pedestal, and we're going to talk about light up switches for a minute. So. Um, See y'all just a okay, second. everybody. We're back here, and I got some of my uh, LED um, little push little push on and off switches that are round, and I use these on probably every build that I have, and they're just uh, basically that's on that's the on position and that's the off position. The LED light actually sits at the bottom of the switch, and it lights up whenever you obviously turn on. The switch. It's a nice little indicator light. You can get these in blue, green, red, yellow. I haven't seen purple yet, but they work really good. Now they've got three tabs on the back of these switches here, and I want to just solve some of the mystery here about how to hook these switches up if you decide to put these in your project. They work great. 
you have three terminals here. Um, one of them is brass, and the other two are silver. And the reason they do that is, the, well, here's the way I hook them up. The brass terminal is going to be your ground. You have to have a ground because that's what's going to help light up the light when you have a hot in the ground. So what's going to happen is, the way I normally hook mine up is I run a ground wire from the brass terminal back to the ground of the battery or the power supply or whatever power source that you're using. The wire coming from the power source, which is either coming from the battery or the power supply, your hot wire or positive wire is going to go to the outside silver terminal. Now whatever you want to switch, your amplifier, your radio, what have you, you're going to come off of this terminal, the center terminal, that's called your load, and that's going to go to whatever device you want to switch. So when you flip the switch here, the LED is going to come on, and also it's going to switch your device. So that, I hope that will clear up some of the mystery there on these switches and these work great you can get a five pack of them for just a few dollars and again they or you can get a thirteen dollar you can get a, a 25 pack of assorted colors and they work really really good and they're really easy to drill the holes for matter of fact i use the step bit that i got from harbor freight and if you step it down to this last fitting right here I'm not sure what size that is i'll have to get my glasses and see that's a 13 16th inch hole is what you need to pop these in. It's got the little, they're spring loaded right here. So when you put them in there, they'll go in there nice and tight. And these are great switches. I use them in all of my builds. And I'm using five of them on the Mega Boom Box, as you saw. And they work great. Just remember when you're hooking these up, the brass terminals are ground. The outside silver terminal is going to be your hot coming in from the battery. And the center terminal is going to be going out to your device that needs to be switched. So I hope that answers the questions about switches. Okay everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that answered your questions about um, the switches there. I was going to do a video about mini amplifiers, but I'm going to save that till next weekend or maybe sometime this week when I get a chance. But um, I just wanted to, I have so many questions about these switches that I really like to help out of the people that are having problems with getting things done and wiring them up and I'm I'm here to help people who want to get in a building. I'm still new at this myself. I've only built 27 builds. I've got four more planned right now for the Mega Boom Box. So please subscribe to my channel. And uh, you'll be able to see all these great builds that are coming up. I'm doing uh, two Harley Davidson boxes and two metal ammo boxes. And one of those boxes I'm going to be showing you step by step, wire by wire, how to make the build. I've had some requests to do a video like that, so that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, also, if you'd like to get on the discussion or if you'd like to ask me a question, it's a lot easier for me to talk to you on Facebook than it is here. And I also have a whole group of experts and people that have also done this that can help out if there's a question I can't answer or something that you're working on. We'll be able to help you out at I Love All Things Radio. Put it right here on the screen. And also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I try to post at least once or twice a week some photos of what I'm working on. And all, my, all my builds are on Instagram. It's DIY underscore boom underscore boxes. That's how to reach me on Instagram. And again, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get as many subscribers out there as I possibly can. I want to reach as many people as I possibly can. Now, if you're just looking around on YouTube and you're thinking, okay, you know, this, this is really great. I'm not a builder. I, I don't have the tools. I really don't want to invest the kind of time in there. I would love to make you a boom box. I do sell these. I, I've already, I've got them in six different states. I've got them in, uh, of course, Texas, where I'm from, uh, Florida, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Ohio, and Washington State. I have a build in uh, these states, and all my customers are very, very happy with my builds. And again, I'm, that's what I'm doing another Harley Davidson build. That was going to go to somebody in North Texas. So I would love to build you something. I, I love doing this and you can see the, you know, my skill level from watching the videos that I have. I'm not going to cheap out on you. And I try to keep my prices fairly competitive. So anyway, Duke's around here somewhere, guys. Well, there's Duke's over here. Come here, Duke. Let's see if we can get Duke to come over here for a visit. Come on, Duke. Come on. Duke's coming. Hold on, everybody. Come on. Come on, Duke. All right, everybody. Here's Duke. He showed up. Say hello, Duke. All right. 
So here's Duke, everybody. Everybody's always wanting to say hi to Duke. And uh, Duke's been pretty good. He's not going to like me today because i got to do his flea treatment. So i got to haul him down and put his flea medicine on. He's been scratching a little bit. But he's he's doing all right. And if this is your first time seeing my videos, uh, this is Duke. He's uh, on a lot of my videos. He's very popular here on YouTube and on Facebook. On my Facebook page, I Love All Things Radio. And Duke is eight years old. I've had him since he was three weeks old. He was uh, born to a stray cat that had been living on my porch at my old apartment. And when she had the baby, she was kind of the mom was kind of neglecting him. So Duke had a brother and sister, and I brought all three of them inside. And uh, I used to I had to bottle feed them because they weren't weaned yet. They're only three weeks old. So I used to feed Duke from a bottle. He used to fit in the palm of my hand. He was so small. And now his head barely fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> but he's a cool cat. He's, Duke, is, Duke is my buddy. He's, he's, he's my best friend. So Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, thank you so much for supporting me, supporting my channel. To all my subscribers out there, thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And uh, please tell your friends, your family about me, and uh, get them to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you'd like me to give you a shout-out, let me know. And I'll try to make a list of anybody who wants a shout-out. I'll give you a shout-out on my videos. Just like I gave a shout-out to Edgar. And I want to give a shout-out to Trent. And uh, Trent knows that I like my Smarties. So, Trent, Duke, said, Duke and I say hello. So... Trent's a young man that's uh, been doing some fantastic, fantastic builds. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to see if I can get him to send me a video of one of his builds. I'm going to feature it on my channel. Because this young man, he's, um, he's a teenager, but he's doing some fantastic work. He built this toolbox from, from Lowe's, and it just looks absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of this young man. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. Have a happy Easter. Uh, for Duke, my name is Phil, DIY Boomboxes in Texas. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook at I Love All Things Radio. We'd love to have you. It doesn't cost anything to join. And if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask it. A lot of people are sending me private messages asking a question, but that's okay. You can go ahead and you can ask the question on I Love All Things Radio. There's, there's no such thing as a bad question or a, or a dumb question. Everybody, nobody knows everything. I've still, I've still got so much to learn doing this it's not even funny but i've got a lot of exciting things coming up like i said i got four new builds coming after the mega boom box the mega boom box should be done next weekend and as soon as i get it done i'm going to do a video tour of the box and then i'm going to shoot two separate videos with the music because i don't want youtube to delete a video with everything else with the mega boom box uh, this project's been something else it's really been challenging every skill I have, but I'm really having fun. I'm enjoying it. So, thanks to guys again. And again, after the Mega Boom Box, I'm going to be doing uh, two Harley Davidson boxes for the ladies. Um, what I'm trying to do is get more stuff, you know, for the ladies involved. You know, women like music just like the guys do, and they want to have a cool Boom Box too, but I'm trying to do something a little bit more feminine, a little bit more ladylike for the ladies. So, I got two builds coming up for the ladies, and for the guys, I have two metal ammo boxes coming up. One of them is going to be the standard green 50 cal. The other one is going to be black and I'm going to try to put a hammered finish on it. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. So a lot of exciting things coming up guys. So please subscribe next few months. I love all things radio. It's doing good and DIY boom boxes in Texas. It's got a lot going on. So thanks a lot guys. Say bye Duke. Bye everybody. Have a great day.